Let's take a look at the chart action for Bitcoin. Okay, so here's what I've been looking at on the Bitcoin chart. We had this uptrend on the four hour time frame. I was watching support, support. We broke this down uptrend going to the downside. I was wondering how far we were gonna go. We actually got support right away and started bouncing to the upside. So let's go ahead and delete this. This didn't really help us out very much and we broke it going to the downside. So I think the other things that I've been watching though, I've been talking about is this little box of resistance right here. So we had the top on the four hour time frame, and then if we go to the daily time frame, we had the top of the candle right there. So I was watching this little box right here and I was thinking if we could break out of this little box, Going to the upside, the next target that I'll be looking at is 44.4K. It does look like we broke it and we are still above this little box right here of resistance. So let's see if we could keep this momentum and push to the next target. The other thing that I'm looking at, if we zoom out a little bit, we have resistance, resistance, and resistance, support, support, support. The main thing, one of the bigger things that I've been watching is this channel pattern, something like this. So I'm thinking until we break to the upside or to the downside, then we, it kind of looks like we're just bouncing in between these two trend lines. It does look like we're coming up to test the top though. I think if we could break the top, then I'll get much more bullish in general. One of the things I do find interesting is on the daily time frame, I was watching this nine moving average right here and check out where we got support we got support right on that nine moving average we bounced down tested it closed this candle above it got a bounce and now we're heading to the upside this is why i like watching these moving averages or this is why i like using them we broke above the nine moving average right here we closed this candle closed this candle got a nice little pump and now we're getting support on it as opposed to being below it and getting resistance on it the daily time frame hasn't really, it's been kind of going in and out of this nine moving average. So it's not super dependable. I think the other thing that I'm really watching is the weekly time frame. Let's go ahead and delete everything. And I've been talking about this. This is one of the bigger things that I've been watching on the bigger time frames. We had this nine moving average right here. When we broke below it, we we're getting resistance on it. Now we close this candle above above the nine moving average. What I want to see us do is see this candle close above it as well. I think if we could close this candle above the nine moving average, we still have five days and nine hours to do that. Then maybe when we come into contact, we'll get bounces to the upside as opposed to getting bounces to the downside. So in the smaller time frame, I want to see us break out of this little box right here on the four hour time frame. We already are kind of breaking it, but let's see if we can keep this momentum up and head to the next target sitting at around 44.4K. It does look like we're getting a little bit of red volume right now, so not 100% sure what's going on right now, but I do like the way that we broke out of this little box right here, and we are still above it, as well as we found support on this daily nine moving average right here. Let's see if we can stay above this nine moving average. I think once we start breaking this nine moving average going to the downside, then that will be a bearish signal, but until then, hopefully we can find support on it and keep bouncing to the upside. And maybe we could come hit that next target sitting at around 44.4K. I think if we could break 44.4K and then come up and test this trend line on the daily time frames sitting at around 45K and break through that, then that's when we're going to start getting, that's when I'm going to start getting a little more bullish than I am right now. Like I said, we're still bouncing in between these two trend lines. So it's possible that we're just going to continue to do that until we break to the upside or to the downside. Right now we are heading up. Let's see if we could come through and break through the top. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys like the video, hit that thumbs up button. And if you want to support the channel, check out my Patreon.